So I'm back here with another video here with my C8 Corvette. Back with another video here. As you all see that, that is the black mash that's going to go into my C8. This is going to be my to-do list today. As you see, getting the little marks here in that radiator area. I'm getting them here, and it's not a lot of miles on a car, you know? So I'm glad that I actually went and purchased this online. Um, and I'll make sure that I show you all the after, as you see the before. All right, signing out. Hey everyone, here is my how-to installation of the black mash that's going to go in the bumper of my C8. So there's gonna be a lot of masking and measuring because this is where it's gonna go and everyone who has a C8 is going to have to put this in here. Some way, form or fashion, if you want to make sure that you have a clean look in the front of your car versus all of these marks in there. This car has been totally wrapped with a 3M, but that does not protect those radiators in there. So, I purchased this offline here from eBay. Been following people in a CA form, so follow me as I start my project. Hey guys, I'm no wrencher, but I'm up under the car. I put, I put the blue tape so I can remember where to put certain screws back in. So I'm actually up under the C8 Corvette. As you see, some of the screws have been taken out and I'm basically disassembling the undercarriage to actually get up in here without taking the bumper off. So I'm just, you know, going one screw at a time. As you see here, the screw is gone and I put blue tape there so I can remember where that screw goes. Uh, Cause it's a lot of screws as you see, you know, I got screws all here on my garage floor. I'll put them together, but you know, they have mechanics, you know, that do these things, but I'm just a do it yourselfer. I seen it on YouTube, so I'm attempting to take the undercarriage at the front of the C8 bumper to put my actual grills in there. I know a lot of you all thinking that you will see it after, but I'm showing you that I have been taking the screws out of here. You see the screws is gone. I'm still here at the bottom of the bumper and um, taking these screws out of here. And I'll show you guys another video once I get some more of these screws out. And this is the trim part of the bumper. As you see right here, this is the bumper here in the front. Um, my bumper didn't have um, a splitter um, in the front of my C8 Corvette. But the whole purpose of this taking this undercarriage off is to put the actual mash in here. So I'll be up under here for a while taking these bolts out of here. And in the process of this, I was able to really look at the actual quality work of the wrap that I have on my full bumper. Um, so be back to you all in a second. Let me get through with some more screws. As you see, I'm taking them out one by one, just taking my time. Never did this before, but it doesn't seem too hard. Okay, everyone. So I have been able to get up under here. 
as you all see, you can see my hand. So that means that I'm gonna be able to slide the actual mash up in here and I'm gonna zip tie. So as you see, the screws has been taken out and I pulled out, I didn't damage any of anything. So one, let me move my hand back so you can see. So we got a screw here, screw there, screw there, there. I'll move back so you can see, so you can focus in on it and you can see. All right, guys, so what you're looking at is the undercarriage they're hanging down because now I am about to go ahead and cut the mash to the same circumference of the entryway. So I'm about to do some masking and taping to actually cut this to the correct shape and then slide this right up under here. Yeah, right up under there. Yeah, right up under there. Yeah, this is a one man person, one man camera, one man show. So, no, I'm not cheap. I'm doing this is because this is something that seems very easy and all the shops have been pretty busy anyway. So if I can't touch my car and do what I wanna do with my car when I wanna do it, then, oh well. Some of you guys will pay people to do it, it's no problem. I pay people to do stuff, but this little project right here is something I want to do because there's no doggone reason why I don't have no miles on my car and you see those marks in there. You see those marks in there. I'm getting close. You see those marks in there. And I refuse to keep driving my car looking at the marks on them doggone radiators. That is just, that's just crazy. Hey, the design is there, but that's what I got this for. That's what I got that for. And I'm gonna put it in and it's gonna look good. I'm gonna take my time cutting it and measuring it. It's gonna look good. And I'm gonna show you all the after product. Not too many screws, not too much time. And no, I did not jack the car up. I got a piece of cardboard and I climbed my butt up under there and took them screws out and I'm gonna slide it back in there. And I'll be back to you guys shortly. So we're actually masking off the metal as we measured up the area where we're going to put this at. So we mask it off with some blue tapers, painters tape. As you see, we already start cutting it actually down and we're just using these right here. And we're going to cut this right along here is bend it right now. So I'll be cutting this off here and I measured it out. Okay guys, the first one is done and the zip tie is right there. All right. So as you all see, I'm actually cutting the actual shape here. I got the uh, passenger side already done. So now, as you see, I'm actually just shearing it out, guys. And when I get through with this, then I stick it through here with my hand. I stick it through here with my hand and slide it in there. And you see, this is like this, and I did not jack the car up. This is one, two, three, four, maybe five, and then five more bolts under there to loosen this up. So you can just slide this right under here. Hey guys, so the finished product is done. I haven't put the actual bottom part of the Corvette back together, but the vents are actually in. The carbon is actually in. Very happy with the finished product. Thank you guys for following me through this little modification here. PL Luxury Review. As you see, 
We actually have them in there now. Everything is in there. You see it right there? It's actually in there now. Over here. So now we're protecting. Just got to put this back up. Tighten up a couple of more bolts under here. And the CA to be ready. So these are the actual zip ties that I'm using and I'm actually putting them right through here. And then you may say, well, how can you get it closer? So what I'm doing is I put my hand in here and stick it right through here and then feed it right through here. And then it will actually connect to here. And then, you know, it'll actually snap together. And as you see, I have it together here and I took my hand out and then I'm gonna feed it right through here and then lock it actually in here. Um, just doing this with minimum amount of light here. And as you hear it snap, now it's done. And as you see, this is the tie. I get my wire cutter here and cut it and for a seamless cut and there it is. And that's just two ties. So I stick my hand in here a little bit more and then I do my next one and I just put the little zip tie right here. Um, I bought this from my favorite store, Walmart, guys. And um, $1.47 for the zip ties. And I'm gonna actually put the link in the bottom to the actual vent cover that I actually ordered from eBay. I think it was eBay or Amazon, but it was, it was really cheap. Um, and it was just one strip. And I got one more zip tie I just put on there real tight. So it just snugs in there. Then get my little thing here, cut and cut that, and it'll be all done. All right, it's that one. Then you know, just is, the more you want to secure. I mean, I got three of them on here now, um, but I probably don't need any more. Um, but it's it's in there pretty good, guys. Thank you, guys.